Useless Crafter. So today we're going to be making this sign, the first day of school. So that's my daughter. It's pretty big, right? Um, I like it this size because there's a lot we can put on it. It's pretty uh, colorful, all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you how to do that today um, with two things in mind. One, how to make it straight. And two, how to make sure that we don't have the little bubbles in our vinyl. So um, we'll definitely go over those tips. This, I'm going to flip to the other screen so that you can see my board. So give me a second. All right. So I think you can see everything. All right. So I already cut out everything. I did use glitter vinyl, which I love and I hate. <laughs> so it's the Cricut brand, right? I wasted a ton of glitter cardstock today. This is just some of it. I cut the pink and the gold. And when I tried to weed it, it was just a freaking nightmare. So I want to show you an example. So what I ended up doing is I have the maker and it's a relatively new blade because um, I cut paper a lot. So I have a specific bit blade just for vinyl and for iron on. So that way my blade's not dull. I could use it for a really, really long time before it gets dull. Um, so it's not because of the blade. But what I ended up doing, and it kind of annoys me a little bit because I have the maker, I'm using Cricut materials, and yet when I select the right um, settings, it still doesn't cut through. So I'm going to show you really quickly what this looks like. And let me, I'm going to zoom in for a minute. All right, so when I zoom in, I need to be over here. So this is the one I cut on the maker, and I, I cut it once, and then instead of hitting the button for it to... Um, dislodge my mat or you know I forget what it's called dismiss the mat um I hit the C again so it cut exactly around it it was a double cut on glitter vinyl it's crazy to me but let me show you what it looks like okay so here is my and you see how I can just pull it up and when I'm pulling back my vinyl I like to keep it Totally folded back so that there's no room. Oh, and it it ripped. Are you kidding me right now? So, all right, here we go. Um, the nice thing about glitter vinyl is that it does hold any like seams. So if you rip it, it's not a big deal. But see how like that pulls back? It was super easy, right? Uh, we have just a few more things to weed out. But see, look, it's still there's a corner right here. So I use my weeding tool. I push it down while I pull up like this, then I go back to weeding, right? So, not, I mean, not so bad, right? But, like, it just drives me insane. And this is with a double cut, okay? So let me show you what happened the first time around. Um, hold on, there. This thing drives me crazy. Okay, so that was a double cut. This was the first time that I cut just a single cut, look at, I can't even get that little cap off. It pulls so much. Let me see if I can show you down here. See, it doesn't even pull up, right? I mean, the cut just wasn't enough. And I had already cut two big, gigantic sheets of it. Ah! <laughs> so when they say test your sheets, you really should. I just get so lazy and sometimes I get so comfortable because I do so many projects. I use these same materials over and over and yet that happens. All right, so let's look at our board, okay? So here's our board. I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit so that we can see the whole board, okay? So you can kind of see the layout um, and you can see what it looks like over here. So I wanted to make sure everything fit. So the first thing is let's put down the banner and then we're going to go from top to bottom because these are the big words. These have to fit. They run all the way across. So we'll do that first. And I just wanted to make sure everything was the way, you know, this is the same board, same size, everything. But I always just want to double check because how many times have we, you know, it's just like the crafting Murphy's Law, right? Um, those things happen. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm just moving everything off the mat. We're, or off the board, we're going to be doing this, these two pieces first. So this piece is curved. So obviously it doesn't need to be straight. It just sort of needs to be centered, right? A little bit. Like we want to make sure that the first flag, the two, like the first and the last flag is kind of like of the same distance, but 
I'm not going to be too exact. I don't really care about that. So let's take, now glitter vinyl. The other thing you need to do is you need to make sure you're using the Strong Grip Transfer Tape. It's purple. You don't use it on anything else. <laughs> you will highly regret it. Okay, so I'm just going to take this piece off and put it down on here. I'm gonna move this a little bit over. Um, whatever I'm dealing with vinyl, but especially glitter vinyl, you wanna make sure you have your little tool. And I'm looking for my, I don't know where my big one is, but that's okay. We'll use the small one. You want this little spatula tool thing, and you wanna make sure that you're pushing it down so that all the stickiness is sticking to this strong grip tape. And so when we pull it back, we'll still have issues. I, I'm, I'm fairly confident that's going to happen. It's so hard to get this to stick, but it is so beautiful. So I still do use it. Um, all right. So same thing with this. See, look at that little corner. Oh, sorry. That little corner is did not stick to the thing, right? So what I like to do is I just push it down a little bit, right? And so there's that piece. And now... Just like the way I was pulling it off earlier, I really want to bend this all the way back. I want to give it as, I don't want to pull it at all. I want it to stick to my board or stick to my transfer tape. And I'm just going to pull it all the way through like this. Oh, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, so we have our little piece. We have this. We know that we want the two flags to kind of be evenly spaced from the end. Other than that, we're okay. And this one's pretty easy. So tip number one, keep this super, super tight, okay? Tip number two, we can go back and put this little piece back on a little bit, okay? So what I like to do is I want the middle part to be sticky. Okay, so I'm cutting out, so that same piece, I'm going to put it right here, just so that it's not sticky, okay, and then I'm going to put it right here. So this leaves just the middle part that's really sticky. I want this to be super, super tight, okay, so we're going to put it down, and right about there looks good to me and still super super tight okay I'm this one is like I don't know if you can see my muscles <laughs> but I'm pulling it really tight and I just want to like push this down so that there's no bubbles okay so my middle is solid there's gonna be no bubbles there okay so I'm really getting it down then I'm going to flip this over and now deal with the sticky part on this one. Now again, I'm going to pull this super, super tight as I put it down, okay? So no bubbles. Yes. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to turn this around, okay? Because you want it close to you. You want to have a lot of control over this, okay? Flip this up, take this off, and again, don't put it down yet, just pull it really, really, really tight. And then the, while one hand is really tight, the other one is like pushing it down, making sure there's no bubbles. Okay. Okay, when you're pulling this off, the other thing is same thing. I mean, always just pull it back. Don't rip it off because um, I can tell from personal experience, every once in a while, your glitter is going to stick onto your tape and you're going to pull it straight off. And, um, you know, since we already confirmed that this is a very temperamental material, we don't want to recut. We don't want to reweed it and then put it on again. So, and it's expensive, so you don't want to, like, you know, ruin um, the material for no reason and cut again. All right. So, I'm going to zoom in so that you can see, but I am serious when I tell you 
there are no bubbles. Okay, so let me see if I can zoom in. No bubbles. <laughs> okay, so we have the first part down. I'm going to flip it this way so I can see it better. All right, the next thing is we're going to do my first dig, okay? So same thing. I'm going to put it down, flip it over. Because I think that's next, right? Yeah, my first day. Okay, make sure that we get it all down. Now on this one, we want to make sure it's straight. So what I like to do is use, I like using my self-healing mat because that gives me um, just some guidelines of like how straight things are, right? So I'm going to line up my board on the outside, right? So on the edge, it's lined up. So that way when, when I'm looking at these lines across, it also gives me a visual of how straight am I. Okay. So... Um, it's kind of sticky. We can definitely cut this part off, but we kind of just want to see like a feel for where this should go, right? And we want this to butt up against the banner. So I'm thinking like I'm going to use this line right here and run it straight across. So I'm going to put my ruler down and I'm going to line it up from side to side, okay? And then what I'm going to do is see how like the end of my ruler is this line right here. Then I'm going to take my chalk marker. So this is going to come off and I'm just going to dot it a little bit through. Okay, actually I'm going to just draw a straight line across. And can you see it? It's not even white, so this is great. <laughs> okay, so now that we have our line, we're going to do the same steps. We're going to take off this piece, make sure it all comes off, it's all sticking to our um, strong transfer tape, and let's see how, how lucky I am on this one, okay? Nope, see, look, it didn't come off. So I'm just going to edge my way through and pop off, kind of, so it's there, kind of push down on it. And once it gets a little bit down, it's a lot easier to pull up. Okay, so that's down. And again with this one, you want to go slowly because it is very easy to rip off the piece. So yeah, I'm not as lucky on this piece. This piece is not sticking down. Now I don't want to use my fingers because it's oily. So I'm using my tool and kind of like helping it And the thing with, with this board is um, it's all print, so each letter is by itself, so it's not even connecting, so the word first is in cursive, but, and that makes it a little bit easier, because some of it's already down, but you can see we're just slowly making our way across this. I mean, this thing is sticky. It's like, um, like a trap. <laughs> so you see how I kind of pushed down to get that piece down? Okay, here we go. Yeah, never use um, glitter vinyl when you're in a rush. It's not going to work out well. So you really need patience and time to do this right. But it is so worth it. I mean, it's so pretty. So I, um, 
I continue to use it. But I think if I had someone order like 10 of these, I'd probably cry. <laughs> I could do one. I could definitely do anything for my daughter once, but orders, I don't know. It's going to have to start um, costing people way more to deal with this. <laughs> All right, so this little, there we go. All right, I think we're almost there. Let's get that last piece down. Okay, so it's down. I'm going to move this back over. I already have my line drawn, so I know that's going to give me a really good eye for like what's straight, okay? So even though I'm not using that line, because if you can see the line's all the way down here, I'm going to be way up here, but that just gives me a visual for me to um, kind of line up my transfer tape also, but just to um, give me a feel. So this is really tight. Do you see how it's really tight? And I'm going to put it down now. And I'm going to go from the middle out. So I'm going to go from the middle out. And I am fairly confident that, again, we have no bubbles, as I can feel. You know right away. just help me put down the transfer tape. So. Alright, so I'm using the same transfer tape. I'm going to put it down. Flip it over. Really push it down so that it's easy for us to pull up. Um, if you're wondering what that little hole in the middle is, um, basically, what did I put in there? I cut something earlier. It's here somewhere. Give me a second. Um, I... Huh. We'll have to find it. It was another something in the middle right there. Just to save space so anytime that you have an empty space that you're not using you can use that to cut vinyl to cut another piece visual cue on what is straight and what isn't straight. So I'm going to do that a few times. Okay, here we go. Okay, so really, really straight, right? And we want this, I'm looking on the other side. Okay, we want it as close to the words as possible because we have a lot 
lot going on this board. So let's see. And I'm looking for my cues. All right, that looks about right to me. I'm, at, I'm really making it tight. All right, so I have it tight on that side. I'm pulling it really tight over here as I'm pushing it down. Okay. That felt really good. Again, I'm thinking no bubbles. Okay, flip this over. Take this off. Hold it really, really tight as you lay it down. two boards okay so the first time I did this and this was a year ago and it was my first sign do you see how this is coming up so I always have to push it down there's a bubble right here and a bubble right here um, it doesn't bother me too much because it doesn't show up in the pictures and it's mine but that's the difference this one is like flat we're gonna love it okay so I'm gonna put this back Okay. All right. So that's down. The next thing is my teacher is. So here's that little guy. Now this one has a line. So this line is going to match up to one of our lines here. So again, let's just draw a couple more lines for us to, um, for us to see. And I'm just going to put this down. Just draw a few more lines for us to okay and again this is a chalkboard this is a chalk marker this can all be wiped off so that's why we're doing that okay oh, yeah. all right here we go um i'm gonna move this over again as we put this one down okay so i'm gonna try to make sure that this line is I'm going to match up that line to one of my lines here. Because as you know, like when you start seeing a bunch of different lines, you can't help but get your mind's playing tricks on you, right? So just want to see if I can line that up so that everything is nice and straight. All right, so let's see how well this sticks down. So here's my line. Okay, it didn't stick down, right? That's okay. We'll make it stick. All right, here we go. Well, almost dripped off that S because the bottom of the S stuck, but the top of the S did not. If you've ever used strong um, grip transfer tape on non-glitter, just throw it away. It's not worth the fight, I promise you. <laughs> um, just recut it. I know it's material wasted, but honestly, you, you're going to thank me. Okay, so we've got that down. This one did not stick um, as well to the thing, but we're going to put this down just so that it's not so sticky and it's going to help us make everything straight. Okay. Put this in the middle again. All right. I'm pulling it as straight as I can and I'm looking for my lines. So there's a line right there and that looks pretty straight. I'm putting it down. I'm 
sort of like I want to keep it nice and taut, right? Okay, that was really good. That's a problem with um, glitter vinyl is that some of your letters don't want to stick back down. That's the only thing that makes me not want to use this sheet again, but that's okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. So it came down before I was ready, but since each of these letters are individual, I'm just making sure that those letters have no bubbles. I don't care about the bubbles in between on my transfer tape. Okay, that was definitely, I was not ready. <laughs> All right, so now hold this super tight. Get your Y down and then your M down. Okay, you should have no bubbles. I'm not feeling anything. And the nice thing about how cute this font is, it's not straight to begin with. So that will help us. But, you know, when you have a straight line like this, it definitely helps to have those visual cues. Because that was on my mind. Okay. So now I think what we want to do is let's kind of lay out what we have left. Okay. So we have a when I grow up. I'm going to make it match my other one. So that's why I have. And this does not match what we have in design space. I moved things around a little bit. It has a long line of dots coming down. So it has this. And then it had an even one running across. But because I had to split it up and, and sliced it out, what I did was on my board, I had it something like this. And something like this that way it doesn't have to be so straight it just gives us a little bit more leeway um, to work with this so I want to be so let's scoot that over a little bit Slot there I'm blank years old um, things I love and I like you know things I love to have more space to write things I am however many years old. I mean, that's a small, I mean, it's, it's a number, one number. So you can either put it like, that star belongs in the crayon. So that gives you some space. Or you can put it over here, or you can put it like this, or like this. It just gives you a lot of options. Okay, what else do we have left? Okay. So... This up a little bit more inches tall. Where's my okay? There it is. I am how many inches tall? Okay, I think it looks pretty good. All right, so let's get our ruler in so that we could do this line first. Okay, let's just move that out of the way. Oops. And it's kind of running down from the right in the middle. So let's just do this. We can line up our ruler right against this thing and draw our line up. So I like that. And does that do the same thing? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to do the, the dots to the left of this. Just do it. I'm going to do it over here. I'm going to do this the opposite because it's just such a thin line. I'm just going to put it down like this. Okay, take this tool. And because I gave it some room up at the banner, 
I think some of our dots aren't going to make it, which is okay. We'll just cut off, you know, we don't need to have all the dots on there. All right, so here we go. The dots didn't, this first dot did not stick down, but that's okay. Okay, the rest is better. Oh. Now, if you're looking for more first day stuff, I have a milestone shaker that I will show you as soon as we finish this little guy. Okay, so holding it really tight, um, I'm going to cut off the last three um, circles. Super tight, and I'm going to line it up with my drawn out line to the left of it, okay? So I'm trying to see through it. It's kind of hard. You know what? I'm going to just trim this off. And the dots are easier because there's space in between, so it should give you a lot of leeway for um, avoiding bubbles. Alright, so we can add this bubble down here if you want to. I'm tempted not to because I'm going to ruin the alignment, but give it a shot. Okay. So that's down. Let's do our next set. And this is so sticky. I think we're almost done. I'm just going to cut this in half. Okay. Um, let's do these bubbles. Okay. And then again on this one, just want to rub it down really well. Now this one, I am going through, so we'll just kind of go here, finish. Okay, so I want this one above that line. And that looks pretty good. We did the hardest part, so the rest should be pretty easy to make and line up. Don't worry about those little dots, right? We're purposely um, doing that. We have another set of dots here. And this one, I'm going to put below this line. And at some point, I'm going to need to get new transfer tape, because I think I just ruined it right there. I did, I ruined the circle, but that's okay. So 
So this one I'm going to line up more in the middle. And then there we go. All right. So let's put down our stuff. So the inches, because usually that's going to be double, you know, I'm not usually, that's going to be double digits. I'm going to do the inches on this side and the eight on this side. So let's put down our inches tall. And this one's like, the letters are really thin, so I want to make sure I'm getting a good rub down there. And I already have my my um, visual, so I'm just going to put this over as far as I can, and line it up. Okay. Yay! Oops. There's like a little. me crazy how sticky it is. Okay. Um let's do this one. My end. So you can see it's the same all throughout now. Now we have um, space to put the glue bottle, uh, the paintbrush, things like that. So let's see. here so that we could put scissors or glue bottle or something. So I'm going to do this right here. And I'm going to maybe put the paintbrush because it's kind of tall. Well, let's see where else we're going to put it. So I want to be something when I grow up, right? I could put it like that and let's see what else we have a glue bottle and a pair of scissors. So the scissors might not be a bad thing to put. Oh, you know what? We can do this because it, it's bigger up on top and then smaller in the bottom. We can do something like this. The glue bottle, maybe the glue bottle can be over here. And the paintbrush could be somewhere in between. And then all we have left, oh, we have a little pencil and some stars. So we could put that down here like this this and I think that's it all right so we are almost done um you know what maybe we'll put like that and then we'll put this over here and you can put the age right there I think that is a good or you know what we could do this No, I like it the way it was. Okay. All right, so we have everything where we want it to be. Now it's just putting it down. Um, oh, and I had some extra ones, but I don't want it. Oh, do I want to add it? I feel like we can add two and one. So give me a second. The 
it's always makes me nervous. Like this is where I mess up. <laughs> okay, so that looks pretty good. We're done with that. Let's see. Let's do this when I grow up. Now, um, I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can see. I ran out of um, transfer tape. You can just put it over. So this is two pieces of transfer tape. I always feel like towards the end is when you make the mistakes, right? <laughs> You're so over it. Okay, when I grow up, so I want to be is on top when I grow up. So we're going to put this over here. And this is so much easier to put down because it's individual letters, individual words. So it's a lot easier to avoid the bubbles because it's not connected like the crayon is or um, the banner. So it's not quite as important to make sure that it's super tight across. But that looks really good. Okay, so we've got that piece down. Um, I'm going to end it here because I think you guys get the process. And so I'm gonna flip it back. I'm gonna show you what we have so far right now. I'm gonna show you the first. So I'm taking off all of this. Kind of see the progress, right? Everything looks nice and straight and taut and no bubbles. And that's gonna be like this one. And really, what you're going to notice when you're standing with this sign is it's going to be the cute little kid holding it. My daughter holding it. I'm just looking at her and reading the stuff. So I hope that was helpful. Um, post your comments, questions, and then if you have that special project, please, I'm always looking for ways to help you. All right, see you next time. Oh, and catch me on Instagram so you can see all the photos side by side. All right, bye.